Hallelujah. We are excited tonight about the ministry of giving. We are excited about what our mother is doing. We are excited about how God is using her in the kingdom of God to change the lives of so many people. I'm excited tonight because I told you all in the women's convention that I would come back with another testimony because I would not stop sewing. I told you a few years ago how my son was able to go to college. Hallelujah. And I did not have the money because I sold my whole 401k into the ministry. I took $150,000, all I had saved, my whole 401k. And the Lord spoke to me one day and said, sow it into ministry. I sold every dime into ministry. And now I have a graduate, glory to God, from Washington State University coming out of school right now. Glory to God is already being offered, glory to God, from several NFL teams. He'll be an NFL football player by April of next year. I wish y'all would celebrate. Hallelujah. I didn't have to pay one dime for college. If it's a mother in the room tonight, hallelujah, and you got some children and you don't want to pay for college, I dare you just to give God 30 seconds of praise real quick. I dare you just to lift him real quick because when you praise God, he makes a way for you. And I told you all in the women's convention, I'm coming back with another testimony. I told you I believed God. It was time for my daughter to go to college. Glory to God here in July, this past July. And as she didn't get all the scholarships. She got accepted into a whole lot of schools, but she didn't get all the scholarships. And uh, I told God, I want you to do it again. Ooh, that's a word for somebody that's living for the Lord, that's pleasing God, that's doing what the Lord has told you to do. I dare somebody just real quick say, Lord, do it again. Just do it. I dare you just to shout it out, Lord, do it again. I need you to do it again. Do it for my children. Do it for my home. Do it in my finances. Do it in my marriage. Just do it again. I asked him to do it again, mother. And in July, it was time for my daughter to go to college. And I had a speaking engagement on that night that had been planned the year before. And I asked my sister to take my daughter down to college. And she did not get a scholarship at this particular college. And I asked my sister to take her. And my sister said, okay, they're going to need a check when I get there. I said, take her to college. She said, you're going to send me out here and embarrass me? You're not going to give me a check to give the people. I said, the Lord promised me that I would not have to pay for college for either one of my children. And I'm believing God. My sister got my daughter out there to North Carolina. And my sister was sitting in the admission office and she was waiting for the admission people to come out. Glory to God. And she called me while she was, she said, they're taking so long. She said, I don't even know what to do. I'm telling them that I'm dropping her off. I said, you're just going to drop her off. About 15 minutes later, my sister called me back. She said, some woman came out to, your, to us and she said, is that Essence? That's my daughter's name. She said, is that Essence? And my, my sister said, yeah, that's Essence. She said, Essence, don't you remember me? A few years ago, we came to your high school and you were presenting uh, as the president of the debate team and we told you we wanted to come to, we wanted you to come to our school and Essence said, yes, I remember you. But when I talked to Essence later, she said, mama, I didn't remember her <laughs> she said but I told her yes the woman went to the back of the room she went to the back of the office she said wait five minutes I'll be back in about three minutes 30 seconds she came she said uh, to my sister she said just drop her off she said we're gonna give Essence a scholarship for the next four years I wish I had somebody that would give God praise while you're praising for me he might do it for yours I wish I had a praiser on this side I said I got two children my son was able to stay an additional year and get his master's degree. I'm talking about two degrees and no money. I wish somebody would just shout that real quick. Just say two degrees and no money. Shout it again. Two degrees. He's doing it for somebody while you say it and no money. Look at somebody and say, oh, she said two degrees and no money. God did it again. Is there anybody in here that you asked God to do something and he did that and he did it again? Look at somebody and say, God is 
just getting ready to do it again. Come on, shake them by the hand and shake them real good and tell them God is getting ready to do it again. Tell them one more time, God is getting ready to do it again. They don't believe you. Turn around to somebody that you don't know and say, neighbor, I don't know what you've been asking God to do, but he's getting ready to do it again. Here I am with a daughter in school. Don't have to pay any money. She's eating better than me, Mother Lewis. She calls me every day. She shows me collard greens and neck bones. Come on here. Chicken legs. Y'all ain't saying nothing. She's showing me cornbread. And she said, Mama, they feed me three times a day. I got a son there in Washington. Every month when he get his check, he called me and say, Mama, do you need anything? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I'm just getting ready. You know, I'm still working, but I believe that after this year, I'll be able to retire. My son said, Mama, I don't care how many millions they give me. All I want you to is, is to be able to do ministry. Do what you want to do when you get ready to do it. And I just want to give God praise because he's been good to me. I wish you would praise God for me. And while you're praising him for me, I'm asking God to do it for you. Look at somebody and say, God's going to do it for you. Tell them, I don't know what you're waiting on. Huh? But God is going to do it for you. I don't know what you've been praying about. But God, he's getting ready to do it for you. Do it in your home. Do it on your job. Do it in your children. Do it in your marriage. Look at somebody and say, only God can do it. I'm feeling them doing it on this side. I'm feeling them doing it on this side. Somebody shout, do it, do it. I feel him. He's getting ready to do it. He's getting ready to make ways out of no ways. I feel God. He's getting ready to open. I feel miracles. I feel signs. I feel wonders. I feel a turnaround. Can I get 35 people just to turn around? I feel turn around, turn, turn around. I can't hear you. I dare you to turn around again. Turn around for your marriage. Turn around for your children. Turn around for your household. Turn around. Bishop Hankerson said every time I turn around, he keeps on blessing me. Look at somebody and say, you're blessed. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed when you go east. Blessed when you come back out. Your children are blessed. Your marriage is blessed. Your household is blessed. Your home is blessed. Your pastor is blessed. Your leader is blessed. Your supervisor bless her. Somebody shout bless. I dare you to praise him because you're blessed. I dare you to praise him because you're blessed. He's about to give you a miracle. He's about to give you a breakthrough. Somebody praise him. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we're getting ready to rebuke the devil. 